Hi, do you have a second to talk about the 1998 Disney remake of The Parent Trap? Of course you do. The classic story of two twins who meet at camp. Why? I don't know, because their parents got upset with each other and were like, you take one and I'm going to take the other one. And then somehow they're just so alike that they end up at the same camp. Also, I'm totally going to go on record as saying this is when Lindsay peaked. But also, I want to say, you know, what's insane is like that they uh, that they both looked at each other and they're like, no, this checks out. And then they had to hang out for a while and be like, wait, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? And then they figure out that they were separated by their parents. First of all, they were never like, hey, are you OK with this? How are you feeling? Should we check in about our trauma? No, they're like, you know what we should do? We should switch places and get our parents back together because naturally, of course, that makes sense. Also, how disattached are their parents from them that they were just like, oh, something seems a little off about my daughter, but I guess this is totally okay. Okay, and then also it was like, oh, Miranda or Meredith is the villain. Meredith Blake is not the villain here, okay? The unspoken family trauma that's happening, that's the true villain of this story, okay? So then their parents are just like, through a series of events, they're like, oh, maybe we actually are in love, and then they just get married again? Like, I don't mean to ruin this for everybody, but if I was a part of this entire situation below, I would be like, yeah, I have some questions. Also remember, the only person who had any sanity at all through this entire film is the nanny. Go figure. Okay, well, didn't mean to ruin it, but you should blame the parent trap. Love you, mean it.